answer. Why did you end and how did you restart again? How and why? Uh, we ended because we're tired. We started again because we're not tired anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but for me it's the first time. <laughs> no, no, seriously, we ended because we were tired of being exhausted from, um, from seven years of ridiculous amount of work in a short space of time. And uh, what it did is we just pretty, we didn't argue with each other. We knew we didn't have any problems with each other. We just kind of went off into our own little separate worlds and um, stopped being a band like how a band is supposed to operate and stopped communicating. And, and that made the chemistry disappear from the band. And we got back together again because we started to put this greatest hits together with our record company. Uh, we won at Indian. And we just kind of got used to being in a band again, you know, and realized that all the problems that we thought were there had completely disappeared into thin air. Um, and um, to be honest, you know, if we'd have done the greatest hits four years ago, we probably would have got back together four years ago, you know. It was just a catalyst to us to be in the same room at the same time and just to hang out. We started writing new songs that went really, really well, and a few months later, we were back together. Was, you know, we kind of fell into it, ha happily fell into it. But we had an open mind to falling into it. You know, we weren't kind of like, oh, we're not going to be a band again. We were like, yeah, we'll see what happens. Do you have uh, new songs for a new album? Yes, uh, but we haven't uh, recorded them yet, and we haven't finished writing yet. But we are going to do a new album. Uh, we start writing uh, December, December, January. Uh, why do you chose uh, these uh, three new songs? Because they fitted really well with the old songs. Um, yes. You know, the Tell the Place Up was a statement of intent. It was a statement of this is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it and we're going to have fun and it's like kick our song that we love to do. Um, because of you, it was a, a little bit more like in the world of Charlie Beeper You know, beautiful melodies, dark lyrics, dark topic. Um, uh, but a really kick ass riff again. Thanks, Cass. And, um, and a beautiful, kind of well put together song. There's a lot of energy, a lot of feeling, a lot of passion to it. And um, and that works really well with those thrashes and trashes, and so does Squander. You know, Squander kind of in some ways reminds us of secretly a little bit. Um, and it's just a really beautiful song that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's about not wasting the beautiful things that you have in life. It's, that's really what it's about. And those three songs just really um, fitted. We were only going to do two songs for the greatest hits, but we wrote quite a few and then the record company we were like, well, we can't choose between this one, this one and this one. So we said, we just do we put them all in there. Because the new songs are important for us because it bridges the gap between our audience, our loyal fans that we've had before and the new fans that we want to, to, to trap. <laughs> so it's like the link, you know, um, to the future, to moving forward. You say that this is the beginning of a, a new band, a sort of new band, okay? Uh, why did you say that? Um, because we're revived, aren't we? We're well, because older and yeah, we've 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 gone away. We've had, we've had our kind of rest, and we've come back and <laughs> I was arrested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've had, we've had our, our rest from this band, and um, <laughs> we, we've come back with new uh, passion a new energy, we've, we've retained the original chemistry, which is very important, so it's, that's, that's the, what we take from the past, but what we've got now is a, a renewed passion, more new music, there's a whole new fan base for us now, because a lot of young people who hadn't seen Skunk Nancy before are now really uh, wanting to see us, so they're all communicating with us, but also there's the whole online situation of all our music on the internet and social networking sites, so it's all very um, fresh and new, and a whole new market in the world to go and play, which is opening up in India and Asia. So for us, it does feel like a new band. We're the same people, with the same chemistry, but our whole vibe is regenerated and ready to start a new chapter. I think also, that we're not trying to be too nostalgic about what we're doing, you know? It's, the grace is, is nostalgic enough, you know? Um, and it's about as far backward as we want to go. You know, it's a nice finishing off, rounding up the history of what where we got to till now, the point of was the beginning till now, it finishes it off, it rounds it up. Um, and that's as nostalgic as I think we want to be. But the promotion and the artwork and the, um, the way that we're presenting the live show and the way we're presenting ourselves is very now and forward thinking, you know? It's now and very forward.
way forward thinking. So that's why it's a new beginning for us, because we're not going to be like, you know, oh yes, remember us when we were, you know, you know, when we were ten years younger. Aunt, isn't it fantastic to remember ten years ago? It's like, yes, remember ten years ago. Use your history; it's powerful. But use it to go forward. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your you are, I will be all speak for uh, each factor. So I would like to know what's your opinion about uh, talent show and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Love and hate, I think. If you, if you, if you kind hate. of like collectively in the band, yeah, you yeah. know, you hate some of the contestants and you love some of the contestants, you know. I think it's fun, it's entertainment, it's throwing. I think anybody who goes on those shows and doesn't naively doesn't think about what might happen to them, it's stupid because you may be catapulted into this amazing success or you may get completely shagged, uh, <laughs> <laughs> shagged by the, you know, shagged. Yeah, or well, you, might, you might get complete slagging off and be the laughing stock of Italy. So I think that, you know, it's basically people who go for that type of um, artist or whatever, you know, they know what they're going to get. And especially me, <laughs> if they're shit, I'm going to tell them they're shit. <laughs> so, you know, it's, I think I see it as entertainment. It's fun. It's throwaway. Um, you know, and I think people who know, you, you know now. Everybody knows now what's, what could happen, you know. So, for me, it's like, in the beginning, I was a bit like, oh, my God, why is people doing, you know, because they don't know. You know, they don't realize that they're going to go up and down and it's going to be really hard for them. Now they know. And also, because they're so, so they're desperate, aren't they, for their so 15 minutes of fame. Minutes of fame. They're, so, they're, they're blinded by any, any, any negative. Yeah, so, I, you know, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. And entertainment, which is all it really is, you know. Let's not take it too seriously. Mm. You know? Well, nice, you can say your bit now. That's the same. Well, that's the same. Yeah, I can see it's, a lot of, it's entertainment, but it's a lot of fun. And people love it. And, uh, I know people who absolutely love it. And uh, what about uh, your tour? Are you excited to be on stage together? We're oh, very yes. excited. We're very excited. We've done six dates and they've all been very, um, a lot of fun, a lot of energy. It's been quite crazy. Um, we've all uh, started to understand what it's like to sleep on a bunk in the tour bus again. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, which is not the good part of it, but the shows are brilliant. The shows have been new. As I said, it's a lot of energy, it's a lot of passion in those shows. And I think that. You know, people who kind of come to the show, we will dispel them any rumour of the um, reformation being just uh, for money or just for one tour. You can see it is the band is fresh and is a lot of chemistry what and money? excitement. <laughs> yeah, what money? What money? What money we haven't got. You're getting paid yet? Yeah. Sure yeah. But um, yeah, but it is, the, the shows have been going great and the audience has been fantastic. And um, what's really good, as I said before, our fan base. Um, consists of two sets of people now. So the original scope people who sing all the lyrics because they kind of know and love the old shows, and then we have the front rows of all the very young people that it's never saw us the first time. That's right. And they never saw cool. us the first time. So. Cool. It's wow. awesome. Let's just say that. Scope show is awesome. Yeah. It's very good. We've got good production. And we kind of, you know, we went for it before we get old, old and fat. <laughs> uh, a new video for uh, Squander. Yes, yes it's, it's made. We've done it. Yeah. It's, on my, it's on our website. It's very beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. I think it's filmed in, 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 and, and the squander video as well was made uh, on film because not many people actually record videos on film anymore. So everything took ages because they didn't have enough money to spend on lots of films. So they, they would set the lights and the scene for about an hour and a half and then film for a minute. <laughs> and things like that. So it took a long time. It was up to about four o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. doing the night shots. But it's it's very lush looking now because it's filmed very beautiful, very cinematic. I've got the most amazing jacket. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a really beautiful video. And the most amazing as on the queen dresses. I love it.